This second part of the presentation on therapy definition in the Stroke Rehab app looks in more detail at the group of therapy design data object classes. These data object classes allow a therapy designer to break one component of a stroke survivor's care plan down into a number of component activities. To link those activities together into a logical sequence and to identify various kinds of resources including equipment, materials, documents, websites, audio clips and video clips that are needed to perform those activities. Essentially, this part of the presentation describes a workflow management system for home-based therapy delivery. We saw in part one of this presentation how the data object classes shown in the top half of this diagram can be used to identify the medical professionals and professional organisations that provide medical services to stroke survivors and their carers, and to define a care plan for a stroke survivor by selecting appropriate therapies as components of that care plan, and to assign responsibilities for those components to appropriately qualified medical professionals. We will now focus on this group of therapy design data object classes which break each component of the care plan down into a number of component activities and link those activities together into a workflow that can support home-based therapy delivery. The first thing we need to recognise here is that a typical therapy program is structured in a very similar way to any normal business process or project, in that a therapy program can be broken down into a network of interdependent activities or tasks which the Stroke Rehab app can automate in much the same way as workflow management software automates business processes. And each activity or task within the therapy program workflow can create, reference or modify one or more resource objects of various types. We will investigate these resource dependencies shortly. Now the flexibility needed by the Stroke Rehab app is provided by classifying each activity that forms part of a therapy program into a number of different activity types. So we need to define some activity type data objects to represent the various types of activity that might be included in a therapy program or a care plan. Some of these activity types are listed in the following table. There may be assessment activities, exercise activities, instructional activities, review activities, questionnaire activities, survey activities, consultation activities, and any other activity type that may be required. Then we have component activity data objects that represent the activities or tasks that form part of a specific component of a care plan 
and which may be classified as belonging to one of the activity types listed above. So now we have the data object classes that represent the functional components of the therapy programs that can be automated by the Stroke Rehab app. Next, we have a small group of data object classes that define the workflow that links the activities together in such a way that they can be automated by the Stroke Rehab app. To illustrate how this works, this diagram shows a simple care plan component say a very simple therapy program as consisting of five activities represented by five component activity data objects and five links represented by five component activity link data objects. First there are the component activity link data objects that represent links between pairs of component activity objects which indicate their functional dependency and can be used to define networks, hierarchies or simple sequences of activities as illustrated in this diagram. Then there are the link rule data objects that represent rules that apply to specific links between pairs of component activities, that is, to component activity link data objects. These link rule data objects effectively control the workflow for therapy programs. The link rule data object allows a therapy program designer to define simple workflows consisting of a chain of activities or to select particular branches in the workflow based on the stroke survivor's choices or responses, or to specify the number of activity repetitions before the next activity is commenced, or specify activity repetition until or while specified criteria such as performance targets are met or not met to allow some customization or modification of a therapy by the prescribing therapist, or to construct diagnostic trees that can be used in the remote diagnosis and assessment of physical, cognitive, communication and emotional disabilities. The next group includes the parameter and component activity parameter data objects which represent two of the three ways that a therapy program designer can customise or modify the way a therapy program operates. The way this works is that the functional components of one or more therapy programs represented by component activity data objects can be designed to reference one or more of these parameter data objects to modify the way they work. For example, to temporarily insert a survey activity into one or more therapy programs. 
So first, there are the parameter data objects, which can be used as global runtime parameters to control how all therapy programs are performed, or therapy-specific runtime parameters that control how a specific therapy program is performed or a specific group of therapy programs are performed. Then there are the component activity parameter data objects which can be used as client specific runtime parameters that control how a specific therapy program is performed for a specific stroke survivor or a specific group of therapy programs are performed for a specific stroke survivor. These component activity parameter data objects can be modified remotely by therapists in order to do things like modify a therapy schedule, adjust therapy targets, change the number of activity repetitions, or to modify therapy program workflow. Component activity parameter data objects can also be used to store statistical data about a particular stroke survivor client, such as how many sessions were completed for each prescribed therapy, an average assessment rating for each prescribed therapy, and the best and worst assessment rating for each prescribed therapy. And these component activity parameter data objects can be retrieved by therapists for analysing or monitoring purposes without the need to organise a meeting between therapist and stroke survivor. The last group of data object classes represent information about the involvement of resource objects of various types in the performance of specific functional components of therapy programs. Firstly, there are resource and resource type data objects, where Resource type data objects represent the types of resources that can become involved in the functional components of a therapy program, such as types of therapy equipment or materials, or types of information, such as printed or electronic documents, web pages, podcasts, vodcasts or video clips, DVDs, questionnaires, surveys, forms, questions or requests. And resource data objects represent the actual resources that can become involved in component activities. Then there are the resource role data objects, which represent the types of involvements of an item of equipment, a quantity of material, or an item of information in the performance of a particular functional component of a therapy program. For example, a video clip may provide a demonstration of how a particular activity is to be performed or provide advice about how to deal with a particular kind of emotional problem. An item of equipment may be used to measure the performance of a particular activity. Finally, 
there are component activity resource data objects which represent the involvement of particular resource objects in the performance of particular functional components of therapy programs such as which items of equipment or what quantities of material or which documents video clips or audio clips are to be involved in the performance of a particular activity. In the case of video or audio information, these involvements may be either as inputs to an activity, for example an instructional audio or video, as output from the activity, for example an audio or video recording of the activity actually being performed or as both input and output to an activity for example a live audio or video link between the therapist and stroke survivor while the activity is being performed We can summarise the second part of this presentation by emphasising that the central database that supports the Stroke Rehab app can store and maintain data objects that enable therapy designers to break a therapy program down into a number of component activities and to link those activities together into a customizable workflow and to specify the involvement of various kinds of resources including information in those activities. These data structures provide enormous flexibility in the design of workflows that can deliver a wide range of therapy programs to stroke survivors living in their communities.